Thank you. Tonight, Larry Eukstead from Jamestown and uh, Mike Lawson of Walcott. Mr. Eukstead is going to get the honor of throwing up the basketball for the opening tip. We're ready for our second semifinal game of the day. Ed Moore versus Macville with the play-by-play -play, Terry Dean. Okay. Dave Haugen. Now the tap is controlled by Edmore. And Mark Mellon stepped in there. Edmore with a tap. Edmore will have the orange or dark as you look at the... We're going to foul right off the bat. Appears to be on Sean Nas. Yep. Sean Nas gets the foul right off the bat. Slap somebody on the hand. Here's Rissavi with the basketball for the Vikings. Edmore, third straight trip to the state Class B basketball tournament. Mellon batted away. Still loose basketball. It's going to go out of bounds. Edmore will still control. Lyle Stoa, Steve Rissavi, the guards. Pesca and Friggi are the forwards. Mellon in the middle. That's Stoa. He's really quick. Mellon. A little strong. Here come the Blackhawks back with the basketball for the first time in the ball game. Sean Nas, M-A-A-S. Down on the right side, taken by Sand. Sand had a big night last night. Good shooter, in or outside. Haugen, turn around. Rolled the rim, doesn't go down. Fridgey on the board. They moved Fridgey inside last night when Mellon got in foul trouble. Really did a good job for the Vikings. No score, one minute gone in the first quarter. Rissavi, Stoa, Pesca. There's Mellon. There's two points for Edmore. Haugen almost had it tapped away. Up to Nas. Down to the baseline. Anderson. 2-2. Two -two. Torrey Anderson hits the bucket. Blackhawks will play pressure most of the game. Quick pass up to Melland. Melland's going to try to go the route. Rolls it off. No good. Melland gets his own board. Tried to get it back up, and it's knocked out of bounds by Sand. Tesco will trigger it in from baseline. by Macville. Wayne Haugen up across. Stops a 15-footer. 4-2 to two, Macville. Regions 2 and 3 champions. Macville out of Region 2. Edmore out of Region 3. Edmore with the basketball. Trails by a pair. Pesca in the corner. Stoa. Back to Pesca. Danny from the corner. It's not going to go down. Rebound is taken away by Haugen. Dave gives it off to Wayne. Four to two lead for the Blackhawks. Sand. Boy, he's a good shooter. Watch out for him. Rolled the rim. Doesn't go down. Rebounded by Melland. Rissavi. Five and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Edmore down by a pair as they bring it into front court. Pesca, they really back off him. They invite him to shoot from outside. They want to really clam up that middle. Rissavi. Tried to get it to Melland, over toss. Bridgie tried to get it down to Melland, threw it over his hands. Melland is the tallest player in the tournament at 6'4", actually about 6'4 and a half, near 6'5". Here comes Haugen into front court, hitting double team. That was Nas rather now gets it over to Haugen. 4-2 lead for Macville. 5.05 to go in the quarter. Haugen. Nas. Back out. Sand fakes up and in. Mark Sand. Pesca to Rissavi. Up to Friggi. Over to Stoa. Boy, they really back off him. Lost them two points. Steele, Stoa right back up, gets two more, and we're tied at six. Knocked loose by Rizzovi, and Stoa got the layup. And another one by Haugen. Lyle Stoa. This is Sand. That was a pass down to Haugen. He didn't get the roll. Fell out instead of fell in. Dave thought he had that one down. Here's Pesca back up court. 
6-6 ball game. 4-10 to go in the first quarter. Winner plays Divide County tomorrow night for the championship. Pesca. Edmore back up by a pair at 8-6. Both teams playing pressure defense. 1-2-2 two, two zone for Edmore. Sand coming straight through the middle. Pesca ran right into him. and will play it in from right in front of the Edmore bench. 8-6 late for the Vikings. Haugen. Wayne. Anderson. Foul. Offensive foul on Sam. Coming into the lane. Stoa stood his ground, took the charge. And Sam gets his first foul. One first foul on Macville. Ed Moore has fouled twice so far in this first quarter. 8-6 lead, Ed Moore. 3.36 to go in the first quarter. Grissavi. Up to Pesca. Down the lane he goes. Dishes it off to Stoa. Nice pass to Bridgie. Looked like a block, but it's going to be a foul instead. Foul is going to be called on Sand. And that's two on Mark. Foul call number 24. Mark Sand. Bridgie goes to the... minutes to go in the first quarter. Good crowd tonight. Sand with a rebound. Gives it off to Sean Nas. Up across the line to Mark Sand. Down to the baseline to Corey Anderson. Haugen, Sand, Anderson. That's good. We're tied at eight. of eight. 3 5 to go in the first quarter. Grissavy down to Mellon. Mellon might have took too many steps. Let's see what the call is. Nope, they're going to call a pushing foul. Somebody fouled underneath. Dave Haugen, I believe. Number 32, David Haugen. Yep. Dave Haugen gets a pushing foul. Fourth team foul against Macville. One more and it's bonus time. Petska. Back to Stoa this way to Rissave. Rebounded by Anderson, and Anderson is fouled. I believe it was Danny. Nope. Going to call it on Fridgey. Fridgey put the hand up. Foul call on number 43, Doug Fridgey. So here comes Sand with the basketball for Macville. Fires it up ahead, taken by Wayne Haugen. 8-8 ball game, 2.35 to go in the first quarter. Winner plays Divide County tomorrow night for the championship. All along, Nas in and out. Rebound comes out of the wrist of his foul by Nas. Sean Nas, that's his second personal. He and Sand each have two. Dave Haugen has one. We're bonus now the rest of the first half of the Edmore Vikings. Foul ball on number 12, Sean Nas. Wrist of goes to the line. This will be a bonus. 2.27 to go in the first quarter. Tied at eight right now. Big crowd on hand at North Dakota State University. Hope they brought their ice scrapers for after the game. 9-8 Edmore. There's Mr. Rissavy. Steve's second shot, same place. 10-8 lead for the Vikings. And that's Wayne. Sand up across. Quick pass to the side. Haugen. Anderson. Got it. 10-10. Nice movement against the full court pressure. Brissavy. That's Stoa all by himself. Rebound is taken by Haugen. That's Dave. Gives it off to Wayne. Wayne back into front court. Nas back to Wayne. Wayne Haugen. Nice shot. 12-10. The Vikings trail by a pair as they come up court now. Almost a steal. Rissavi with a quick hands over to Stoa. Petska. 
Bridgie. We're tied at 12. Good start for both teams. Lissavy looked like he may have been injured a little bit. Now is up and running back down court. But immediately, Edmore getting ready to substitute. It appeared that Rissavy may have had the wind knocked out of him. Here's Haugen. Rimming not good. Rebounded by Fetzka. Foul. Uh-oh, that's sand and that's three. Breaks the tie. It's 13-12. Now, Rissavy over there walking behind the bench, behind the Edmore bench, appears to... Uh, I don't know if it was an ankle or he got hit in the belly or what. Appeared to be out of wind. There he is walking behind the bench. 14-12 lead for Edmore. Blackhawks basketball. That's a steal for Mellon. Poor pass by Sand. Stoa. Cross court to Petska. Martinson will set it up. Stoa. Petska. Mellon comes through, and there's that pass, and there's the pocket. Nice pass from Petska to Mellon for the lay-in. 16-12, Edmore. 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. Haugen in front court has it slapped, picks it back up. Here's Sand. Gonna have to be careful now. Rolls no good. Rebounded by Haugen. That's good. Dave Haugen. 16-14. Martinson back. 28 seconds to go in the quarter. Stoa. Down to Fridgey. Didn't get it. Rebound back up off balance. Mellon tapped it in. 18-14 at more. 12 seconds to go in the quarter. Sand in backcourt. Fires it up across the line. Nazi has to go right off his head. Fire from midcourt. Yeah, got the loudest fan in the Macville cheering section, and it turns out to be Jody Enstead, the daughter of Jerry. You say your father's a little nervous today? Well, yeah. He's also really excited. You just can't believe this is happening to this bunch of guys. You're really cheering this team on. You think they can come back? Yeah, I really do. I've seen them come back many times before, and I know they can do it. Okay, they, got the, they don't have the ball now, but we'll see what happens, Roger and Jerry. Martinson has it. Both teams shooting it over 50% in that first quarter. Maxville 52%, Edmore 56. Stoa, there's Martinson, a 15-footer. Bridgie on the board, foul, no travel. On the floor, and there he is with the basketball. Over to Haugen, Wayne. Dave, back to Wayne, out to Sand, Nas, Anderson, short, rebound, foul, Mellon. Big uh, sandy-haired blonde gets his first foul of the game. Third team. number 45. Or by Wayne, rather. The rebound goes out of bounds to Edmore. 14. There's a look at the way things went in that first period. Rebounding Edmore 7 to 4. And as far as fouls, Mac Bill with 6 in that first period. Martinson. Petska. Flip in the lanes. Look out, there was a push in there. Foul is going to be on Corey Anderson. His first. Anderson and Dave Haugen with one apiece. Two on Nas, and three, of course, on Sand. Fridgey at the free throw line. Doug is 6-3 and a senior. 21-14, that's the first point of the second period. Full house here tonight at North Dakota State University, watching the semifinals in the state Class B basketball tournament. 2-14. The Vikings' biggest lead is eight points. Nas with the basketball gets double teamed. Look out. Loose. Stoa comes out of there with it. Fires it ahead. It's loose again. It's on the floor. Let's jump it. Doesn't. Oh, nice pass. Bridgie missed the layup. Bodies go flying, but here comes Macville back with the basketball. Sand has it. 
Bridgie and Haugen really went down hard. That's sand. Nas. Bounce under. Haugen. Nice move at the baseline for Dave Haugen. 22-16. Edmore's lead. Edmore's basketball. 6-15 to play in the first half. Martinson over to Stoa. Cross court to Petska. Martinson and Stoa. Danny goes down in the corner. Back out to Stoa and again to Martinson. Now Fridgey pops out. Batted. Stolen. Nas comes away with a basketball for the Macville Blackhawks. 22-16. They're down by six. Sand. Haugen. Down to Anderson. Out to Nas. Haugen is alone and got it. Wayne Haugen. 22-18. Five and a half minutes to go in the first half. Edmore's lead. Edmore's basketball. Petska. Sand gets the pass in. Here comes Nas. Double team. Look out. Stoa going to get a foul. Lyle Stoa. His first. Still only four team fouls on the Vikings in the first half. No bonus yet. Rissovy back in there for uh, Edmore. Martinson goes back to the bench. 24-18 Edmore. There's Haugen. Got alone. Got it. Dave Haugen. Got four points. Five hawks basket by number 32, David Haugen. 24-20. 4.58 to go in the first half. Edmore with the lead. Danny Petska. Melland, Stoa, Rissovy. Back over to Danny. Bridgie pops out. Stoa's all alone. 26-20 Edmore. Sand. Up ahead. Nas. Down to Anderson. Sand. Haugen and Sand. There's Haugen again coming around on the base. Whistle pushing foul on Danny Petska. Danny Petska gets the foul. That's his second. And that's finally the fifth team foul. Foul call to number 33, Danny Petska. So it's bonus time the rest of the half for both teams. 4-19 to play in the half. Edmore leading by 6-26-20. First three fouls in the ball game for Macville. And Haugen gets the first one. He now has seven points. Anderson and Wayne Haugen each have six. 26-21. 22. Like the way these two are going up and down the floor. Rissovy. Oh, he ran into a screen. Screen set up out there by Melland. Nobody checked off Wayne Haugen. Melland on the bonus. Blackhawks beat uh, Buxton, Central Valley, Ariska, and Prairie in the Region 3 tournament, or in the Region 2 tournament. Toss not good by Melland. Rebounded by Nas. The Vikings beat Kandu, Walhalla, and Munich in Region 3. Jump shot not good off the side by Haugen. Rebound foul is on Sand, and that's four. Oh, boy. Looking at uh, double figures with his free throw. He's sitting on nine points. There it is. 28-22. Boy, talk about a calm bench down there for Macville with their, their big gun having four fouls. Haugen gets it down to Anderson. There's Sand. There's Anderson all alone. That's going to be off the back of the rim. No good. Rebounded by Petska. Almost misplayed it. They will set it up with 3.35 to go in the third quarter, first half. Petska. Stoa. Bridgie. Was it tipped? It was just barely tapped by Dave Haugen as it went by. It's out of bounds to Edmore in front court. There's Danny Petska. Stoa. 
Ritchie gives it off to Rissavi. 3.25 now to play in the first half. Six-point lead for the Edmore Vikings. Stoa. Ritchie. Back to Stoa. Here's Petska. He's having a good first half. Vikings basket by number 33, Danny Petska. Matches the Vikings' biggest lead of the first half. Eight points. It's 30 to 22. Whistle foul on Sand, and that's five. A screen was set up by Rissavi, and Sand has just fouled out of the ball game with 3.02 to play in the first half. Unbelievable. Who would have thought something like this would have happened? Sand scored 25 points yesterday in that big field of Fairmount. He fouls out after scoring two today. Lynn Ringdahl will come on to replace him. Unbelievable. Sand fouls out with 3.02 to play in the first half. Rissavi, who set the screen, is at the free throw line. 31 to 22 at more. Well, they'll talk about that decision. Two twenty-two. Edmore by ten. Their biggest lead of the ball game. Nas in backcourt. Haugen. Back to Nas. Ringdahl. Nas again. Nice penetration. Jump shot. Hang on that rim. Thirty-two twenty-four. High off basket by number twelve. Two and a half minutes to go on the first half. Rissavi. Peska. Sistoa back to Peska. In the Melland. Knocked out of his hands and out of bounds by Haugen. The Vikings basketball at their own baseline. Melland to play it in. Ritchie. Back to a 10-point Edmore lead at 34-24. Boy, Nas just went down hard. Ringdahl. Off to Haugen. Ringdahl misplays it, then chases it down. Now Nas will set it up. Edmore sitting back in a 2-1-2 zone. Haugen over to Ringdahl. Anderson. Rebounded by Melland. Off to Rissavi. Up to Stoa. 135 to go in the half. 34-24 Edmore lead. Melland on a fadeaway. Nice shot. Back it comes and a foul reaching in on Stoa. playing time ago, and he was down on the floor, but picked himself up and came back down court. 36-25. And 26. Here comes Rissavi, back for Edmore. Vikings with a 10-point lead, a minute 18 to play in the first half. Stoa, Rissavi. Peska can't handle it, now finds it. Over to Stoa. Rissavi. 105 to go in the half. Peska. In the lane. There's Melland. Can't get it. Try one more time. He got fouled on the rebound. Somebody was on his back. Was it Ringdahl or was it Haugen? Ringdahl. Line with a bonus. Didn't get it. Rebound. Taken by, oh, good save down there by Anderson. Losing his balance, heading up bounce, puts it back in. Here's Nas. Nice move, didn't get the shot, though. Stoa comes back with it. Really in a hurry. 40 seconds to go in the half. Brissavi. Petska. Stoa. 
back out to Pesca. 30 seconds to play in the half. Ed Moore by 10, 36-26. Recipe. Let's run the clock down. Let them come out after us. Maxfield sits back. Stays back. 15 seconds to go in the half. Viking's going to get the last shot. Rissavi. Eight seconds to go in the half. Steal. Here comes Corey Anderson. Four. Three. Jump shot by Ringdahl is in and out. Oh, tough break. In and out. Mark Mellon. Mellon controls the tap. Bridgie has it. Well, let's see what the uh, Macville can do now without their star player. They played the last three minutes and two seconds of the first half without him. Rissavi. 36-26. That's more by 10. Mellon. Well, they're playing a tight zone now. Macville, they're really collapsing down on the inside. Rissavi. Mellon. A minute gone in the third quarter. No shot as yet. There's Mellon. Didn't work that time. Fritchie got the rebound and a foul. It's going to be on Fritchie coming over. N-A-S-S. -S. Up across the line to Ringdahl. Ringdahl double teamed. Oh, there's Haugen. Or rather, Anderson all alone. Corey Anderson all alone under the bucket. pressure. Grissavy. Looks like he's going all the way. Oh, good block by Haugen. Great block by Haugen. Blackhawks come back with a basketball. Nas. Over the ring doll. 36-28. Haugen. Tapped around. Mellon comes away with it. Metzka. Back to Petska through the lane. Nice move. Mellon with a tap. Petska again. That one is not going to go down. Mellon tapped it in. Right now, the Blackhawks just don't have any size on the inside. Whistle. And an official's timeout is called. It looks like 12 to play. Anderson. deep as you could go in the corner. Stoa cross courts at the Mellon. Mellon comes through the lane and gets fouled by Haugen. That's Dave. Mellon didn't get the free throw, get another try. A lot of the people I noticed in the steel uh, cheering section, not the reserve, but the student section have left now. Mellon gets the second, makes it 39-30 Edmore. Here comes Nas. Trouble, whistle. What do we got? Call on Stoa. Larson back out to Nas at the top. Hogan down to Anderson. Nope. Haugen rebound. Back up it goes. That's going to roll in there for Dave Haugen. Mellon. Danny Petska. First retaliation, 41-32. Back to a nine-pointer. Edmore with the lead. Macville with the basketball. Anderson. Nas will set it up. Slapped right out of his hands by Stowe, and then he threw it away. He wanted to get the ball over to Fridgey that time, and Fridgey had broken down to the other end of the court. Viking substitution. Ryan Loris, 6'1 junior, coming on for the first time. Stowe getting a rest, and he has three fouls. 132 at more. Five minutes to play in the third quarter. Nas with the basketball. Into Larson. Steele. Bridgie. Rissavi will come back. Set it up. 4.45 to go in the third quarter. Bridgie. Batted away and stolen back by Haugen. 
clears it away. Here comes Nas. Four and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. There's a bunch of Macville fans straight across from us. They're not giving up at all. Everything that Macville does, they stand up and cheer. Lane Haugen. Larson. Nas. Whistle. And a timeout call by Macville. Edmore, 41 to 32 with 4.13 to go in the... We've got just under 8,000 in here tonight, Terry, because this afternoon's crowd was only 1,350. Nas misses, Bridgie rebounds. Here comes Petska. Rissabee, 32, 41-32, uh, had more by nine, with 350 to go in the third quarter. Petska, pass under, knocked away, and taken out of there. Dave Haugen knocked it away. Wayne Haugen comes out with the basketball. Back down to Dave. Here's Wayne. About a 17-footer to hit the front of the rim. No good. Mellon controlling the boards. Out to Pesca. Three on two break. Danny drives it down. Gives it off to Fridgey. The bucket will not count. I think we're going to get a charging ball on Danny. That's what it is. Bucket will not count. Danny Pesca gets a charging violation. As he flipped the ball off to the side to Fridgey. Oh, man. Good foul call on number 33. Rance back into one of Macfield's ball players. 7,600 here tonight, Ben. Still 41 to 32. Hoggins over to Lars uh, Anderson. Out of Nas. Hoggin, jump shot at the top. Is not going to get the roll. Rebounded by Fridgey. Headboard completely dominating the boards. Quick pass down. Siding layup is going to good. Morris got the bucket. Dave the ball Hogan. is going to be on Dave Haugen. Another Macville substitution now. Larson leaves the lineup. Ringdahl back in. By Ringdahl. 43-32 Edmore. 3.04 to go in the third quarter. Mikey's basket was scored by number 31, Ryan Morales. with a rebound and finally pulled out of the air by Haugen. Dave clears it away. Here comes Nas. Sean takes it right to the top. Dave Haugen cross courts it, batted. Still being batted around. Nas comes out of the air with it. He lost it on the floor. Now we're going to scramble. Good save by Maxwell. Quick pass down to the base. Oh, look at that block by Mellon. Maxwell ends up with the basketball. Now Nas didn't get it. Rebound is pulled down by Pesca. Here comes Rissavi. He can handle that basketball. Pass cross right through the hands of Mellon. That'll go out of bounds. Mellon breaking for the bucket right through his hands and out of bounds. This play so far in the third quarter will not won't write too many textbooks on what we've seen so far in this third period. Anderson. That's a textbook shot right there. Three thirty-four, two oh five to go in the third quarter. Edmore has the lead. Edmore has the basketball. That's Macville on defense. Really collapsing on the inside. Pesca gives it out. Loris rolls in. Ryan Loris. Forty-five, thirty-four. Whistle. Traveling violation. That'll turn it over. Ringdahl. Forty-five. Forty-five, thirty-four. Up on the message board, they've been uh, flashing people's names who have rooms available in the city of Fargo. Anyone having rooms available to put up some of these tournament people who are going to get stranded tonight should call 237-7309. Two three seven seven three zero nine. If you have rooms available for the tournament people, Hogan at the baseline, batted away by Mellon. Hogan chases after it, went off his body, and out of bounds. Mind you, once again, anybody that's in the Fargo Moorhead area, no travel advised anywhere in the Fargo Moorhead area. 
substitution for Macville. Dennis Wrighton checks into the lineup. A guard, 5-6, and a junior. Quick pass up court. Loris, pass under to Mellon. Loris got it back, and he got whacked in the arm. The foul's going to be on Nas. Seeing a lot of new faces tonight. Foul followed by number 12, John Nas. at the free throw line. He got it. He's come off the bench to pick up five quick points. One minute to play in the third quarter. Edmore's up by a dozen now, 46-34. And seven. 47-34. Ball stolen by Mellon. Down to Pesco. Oh, Danny got run into. Foul's going to be on Wayne Haugen. Two seconds remain in the third quarter. Grissavi. Over this way, taken by Loris. Pass money. Here comes Mellon through. Bucket's good and a foul. Mellon is also going to get the foul. Mellon gets the bucket. Mellon gets the foul. That's his second. 49-34. Boy, they've got that down to perfection. That little lob pass into the lane as Mellon comes through. 45, Mark Mellon after the shot. 49-34. Wayne Haugen. Dave batted away, picked up by Anderson. Anderson, tough angle, hit the side of the board. Here come the Vikings, and they got a three-on-two break again. Rissovey's going all the way and got it. Now it's 51 to 34, a 17-point lead. Anderson makes the save. Oh, flying through the air right and almost came away with it. Couldn't hang on. And here comes Pesca back with the basketball. Danny starts to drive. He's going to get a charge. Yes, he, is. he went right over David Haugen. Four on Danny now. That pops up a uh, man off the bench for the Edmore Vikings. Martin Sinegat, I believe, number 21. Yes. Yep. I'm advised that the Minnewaukan fans and chaperones will be staying in Fargo tonight. Minnewaukan fans and uh, chaperones will be staying in Fargo. Haugen, jump shot. Nope. Rebounded by Martinson. There's the end of the third quarter. The score, Edmore 51, Maxville 34. When you've worked up a taste for something really refreshing, remember, it's fresh milk. More cheerleaders are on the verge of a semifinal victory here. Let's get uh, get your names first. Audrey Anderson, Denise Novacek, Susan Swanson, Linda Johnson, Jenny Snyder, Judy Seymour. Sue, you played girls basketball this year. Were you worried after last night the team didn't show very much intensity? Yeah, I guess kind of, but tonight they're doing their work and they're showing up from last night. Okay. Okay, Edmore's players have a lot of experience, sort of the cheerleaders. You were in Bismarck last year. What do you like better, Bismarck or Fargo? Having a good time here, too? Yeah, it's all right. We like Bismarck better, though. Oh, okay. One for Bismarck. Back to the action. 51-34, Edmore leads Mackville. Rissovey has the basketball. We might see a lot of people in this ball game. Mackville has already been forced to go into a lot of substituting. Rissovey. Loris. Steele. Now find the handle. There it is. Wrighton with the basketball. Off to Corey Anderson. Wrighton, right at the top. Didn't get it. Rebound, a foul into the bucket. Somebody went down hard. Bridgie, and Bridgie's the one that's going to get the foul coming over the back. Here's the way things look as far as fouls, points, and rebounds. And look at that rebounding advantage. 25 to 9 in favor of Edmore. There's a real rabid basketball fan there, isn't it? 989. Edmore shooting 53% after three quarters on 19 of 36. New Viking into the ball game. Paul Mervick, M-Y-R-V-I-K. 
Bridgie's going to get a breather. There goes Bridgie to the sidelines. Coach Joel Shower there to meet him. Free toss is not good by Haugen. And here are the Vikings with the basketball. Martinson over to Rissabee. 51 34. 7 15 to go. There's Mellon. Triple team. Didn't get it, but got. Nope, they call it travel. Traveling violation is the call. So here comes Mackville again. Wrighton has it. Haugen. Haugen. No good. Rebounded by Martinson. Clears it away to Rissabee. Slapped away, got it back. Stops. Fires it back out. Martinson will set it up. Sarissavi. 6.40 to play. Martinson. Down to Loris. Loris from the corner. Nope. Puts it in the Mellon. Mellon with a hook. Oh, nice. A jump hook shot by Mellon. Making fast at number 45, Mark Mellon. Mark's had a good night. Mark uh, Wrighton, rather, comes back with a basketball. Anderson trying to work his way free. Didn't get it. Loose basketball. Corey Anderson comes out of there. Haugen's going to try it again. That's good. Wayne Haugen. First basket of the second half for Wayne. Now has eight points. 53-36. Martinson. Out to Rissave. Rissavee and Melland are the only two starters in that lineup now for Edmore. The other three are on the bench. Nice lead pass under. Shot blocked. Melland comes out of there with it and scores. 17 for the big fella. 55-36. Five minutes and 25 seconds to play. The only thing we have to decide right now is what the final score is going to be in this one. And a timeout is called. Mackville timeout, 521 to go. It's Edmore 55, Mackville 36. Everybody can appreciate the real beauty of sunflowers, especially in the fall when they're ready to harvest. My wife and I raise 450 acres of sunflowers. We plant interstate. They're clean, uniform, and a good, good service from my dealer. A 7775 select went over 2,000 pounds per acre. A 7116. For 20% hail damage, we also got a ton per acre. We like interstate seeds. Interstate, above all the rest. Some men never ride with the pack. Now, for them, there is the Nighthawk. A motorcycle so different. It looks like you own the only one. Looks like Jake's going home. I don't think so. Jake lives that way. The Nighthawk. By home visit our National Open House Days in progress at participating dealers. That's more by 55-36 now. 55-36. We mentioned uh, both teams have done an awful lot of substituting now. In fact, Mellon is out of the ball game now. Mervick is back in there. In the lane, a whistle, and a foul is going to be called on Murphy. Paul Murphy picks up his foul, his first. We'll see a lot of new faces in this one. The bottom started to fall out for Macville early. And their star, Paul Sand, got three fouls in the first quarter, picked up his fourth early in the second quarter, and fouled out at 3.02 to go in the first half. Dave Haugen hits the free toss. 55-37. Mervick with a rebound. Martinson will bring it back. Now gives it off to Rissave. Rissave is the only starter left in the lineup now for Esmond. Look, there's Bridgie back in there. Take that back. Violation down and under yeah. the baseline. <laughs> he was going out and out of bounds. He was going out of the building there for a while. <laughs> he was going to go out and check the weather, I guess. 
repeating that phone number again real quickly, anyone having rooms available for tournament fans who may be stranded tonight are asked to call 237-7309. Oh, there it is on the screen, 237-7309. Call a technical foul. Dave Haugen gets the free toss. Martinson was hit with the technical. He didn't, yeah. he didn't like that idea that he couldn't run halfway out the building and come back again. <laughs> They're going to check the concession stand. Coach probably didn't give a hot dog at halftime. Haugen's shot is blocked. Nice block by Bridgie. Haugen will play it in. Reichen over the side. Nas plays it into Haugen. Haugen got it. He got fouled. Dave's having a pretty decent ball game. 14 points for Dave now. Foul is going to be, I believe, on Bridgie. Yep. Foul number 43, Doug Bridgie. That's his foul on Bridgie. Mellon is going to come back in. Down to 15 points. Stowell is like coming back in. to jack it off. Coach Joel Shower's not going to take any chances. Let's put this thing in the way right now. Here's Haugen. Rebounded by Bridgie. Out to Mellon to Rissavi. Four thirty to play. Stoa. There's a ball batted. Ooh. Comes up with it. There's a little collision for you. That's Wayne Haugen for the foul. Wayne picks up foul number three. 55-40 Edmore. Four minutes and 24 seconds to play. Crosby Divide County, or Divide County of Crosby, take your pick, is in the finals tomorrow night. It appears Edmore will join them. Toss by Loris. Got a move. He scored eight points. points. There's a drive for the bucket all the way. Shot missed by Sean Nas. Rebound on the floor. Big scramble for it. Out of there. Here's a three on two break with Rissave. Now he slows it down. Well, he had a three-on-two break, but decided to wait. Bridgie has it out at top. Stoa. Look out. Good save by Loris. Got ten. Ten points for Loris. Wow. And he hasn't been out there very long. Number 31, Ryan Ross. 59-40. Haugen is back across. Nas from the corner. Air ball. Bridgie with a rebound. Over to Stoa. Three and a half minutes to go. Rissavi. Loris. Mellon. Rissavi. 3-10 to play. Subs getting ready to come in the ball game for the Wildcats. Mellon can't handle it. The baseline is taken out of his hands. Haugen comes away. Wayne's got the basketball. And it's tapped out of bounds by Ristovay. Link Thompson checking in. Now we're going to clear both benches, I believe, or pretty near clear them both. 59-40. Bring Dahl down the base. Batted around, and the Vikings come out of there with a basketball. That's Peshik. Over to Stoa. Ooh, foul. The foul is going to be called on Wayne Hauk. Ben, but not... Mervick is back in there, too, I believe. Yep. 
Free toss not good. Rebound taken by the White by the Blackhawks. That was by David Haugen. Here's a shot down at the baseline that's not good by Lynn Ringdahl. And a foul is going to be called on Mervick. Paul Mervick. There goes Stoa. He'll be the... Ringdahl, Larson, Wayne Haugen. Second shot, not good. Rebounded, though, by Blink Thompson. Now taken down by... Let's see, 35, that's uh, Mervick. Okay. Look at that people standing up front, can't see a thing. There's Ringdahl. a steal by Ringdahl. Ringdahl back, free throw line jumper is a little bit too strong. Rebound tapped out. We'll go back the other way, but not quite yet. We get a foul coming up first. I believe it's going to be called on Ringdahl. Yep, Ringdahl gets a foul. to the free throw line is Lauren Bimler. There's Lauren. Mike Stein waiting to come on for Macville. Bimler gets his first point in the state tournament. Here comes Stein. And there goes Dave Hawkins. He had a fine ball game. Nice job, Dave. He leaves after scoring 14 points. Meanwhile, here's Bimler back at the free throw line. 61 to 40. Wayne Haugen. Up court. Shot is off by Link Thompson. Loose basketball. Link's got it back. He's going to take it away. Nope. Flips it off and a loose basketball. It goes off the hands of Wayne Haugen and out of bounds. 156 to play. Heshik. the baseline. Bring it back out to Dave Lean. There's Peshik again. He wants to go to that base, but he's cut off. Pass in the lane, slapped out of there. Edmore comes away with it again. Bimler. Now we go the other way again. Long pass down court, a little too long, and it's out of bounds. We'll be right back to the Edmore Vikings. Some more subs. Blackhawks, 42 is Paul Reinhardt. Forty-four is Kurt Lowe. Sixty-one to forty. One twenty-four to go. It's out of bounds to the Vikings. Viking and Macville fans about the only ones left now at the field out. They've really cleared out this last in this third quarter. One twenty to go. Bimler has it slapped away. Hustle in the corner. Can't quite save it though. Mike Stein trying to make the save. to play it in. Shot along the base is not good by Mervick. And a foul is going to be called on Mervick and a charge. Paul Mervick is 6'1", junior. Peshik is in there, 6 foot a junior. Himmler is 6 foot a junior. Dave Lane is 5'10", a junior. Some of the fellows in the ball game for the Vikings. Blackhawks have it right now. Drive down the lane is not good by Lynn Ringdahl, but a foul has been called. I believe they charged that one on John Martin. Foul on the number 23. Yep. Kuchar. Kuchar. 103 to go. 61 to 40 at more. Ringdahl. His first point. He's played quite a bit tonight. And off that Macville bench. The second shot doesn't find the mark. Rebound chased into the corner and saved. And here comes Edmore again with just under a minute to play. 55 seconds to be exact. Kuchar. He's fouled. Foul on Mike Stein. Mike is a 5'9 junior guard. Foul ball on number 10. Kurt Lowe is a 5'8 sophomore guard. Paul Reinhardt, 6'3 and a sophomore. Fellows in the ball game now for the Blackhawks. Free toss is in and out, back in again. Kuchar got them both. 
63 to 41. 50 seconds to play. Back comes Ringdahl. Looking for the pass. Finally clears it out this way to Link Thompson. There's a shot in the lane that's up and no good. Rebound is going out of bounds. It'll be Etmore's. Paul Reinhardt was the fellow that put that one up. Back running with 35 seconds to go. Whistle. Foul. Is it a charge? It is. It's a charging foul on Rick Kuchar. County of Crosby and Edmore for the state championship tomorrow night. Ringdahl up, stolen. Here comes uh, the Vikings. Peshik and it's taken back again by Ringdahl. Ringdahl misplays it. Picked up by Stein. Cross court pass batted around, and the Edmore Vikings have it again with 10 seconds to go in the ball game. Dave Williams out of bounds he goes. <laughs> Colin makes Stein. Ringdahl down to Stein. Stein in the lane. Shot up is not good. One more. We're going to pressure them too and see if they could handle the pressure. And our kids just worked real hard. They did a good job. And of course, you're a half court game with those horses inside, and they didn't just didn't have the kids tall enough to match up. No, they were definitely hurting on size. We had an advantage there. Then our kids did work it in well, and when they covered it, our guards shot well from the outside. So we just had a good team effort. And we saw how much Mark Sand means to Macville in the second half. They went with him in foul trouble, and I guess they've done that all year, but I guess we found out he's the heart and soul of that club. Well, definitely. I, I can't really blame him. I guess he's the kid that got him there, right. so he wants to stick with him. Tomorrow night you got divided. Seems like on paper it's an excellent matchup. Two very well-balanced teams. Well, yeah, they, they're physical. They're quick. They pressure. We're going to do about the same thing. It should be a good ball game. I hope we can play well. Congratulations for being in the championship a second time.